If you're thinking of buying Vidnami but you're not quite sure if it's any good and you want to make sure that you make the right decision before buying or you're just looking for the biggest discount possible, well then you're in the right place. This is LUVP from videosandpersuasion.com and today I'm taking a look at one of my favorite video creation tools ever which is Vidnami. Now if you're here just for the discount then don't worry I'm going to get to it right now. There's always a 25% discount you can get on Vidnami, and you can do that by using the link in the description below. But sometimes they do offer discounts of up to 40%. Now this happens every two, three, sometimes four months, and they're not always available. So here's what you can do to get it. Click on the link in the description below, the one that says videosandpersuasion.com forward slash something something Vidnami review. At the top of that page, if there is a promo box telling you that there's currently a 40% discount, then you're in luck because there's a 40% discount. If there is no promo box, that means that you can only buy Vidnami at the standard price of $49 per month or I believe $3.97 per year if they haven't changed their pricing just yet. Now, if you want to wait for the 40% discount, you can do so. Or you can also buy it right now at a 25% discount because honestly, 25 versus 40%, if it takes you three months of waiting, it's worth buying it right now. But if you're willing to wait, on the same page, there's going to be an email opt-in box. Now, I'm not asking for your email to send you a bunch of newsletters or spam you or whatever. That opt-in box is purely to let you know when there is a discount available. Every time there's a discount on Content Samurai or Vietnami available, you'll get an email. And if you buy it, you can unsubscribe from that email list and that's it. Now onto the actual review. I've been using Vidnami for over four years, ever since they started, ever since they created the program and it was called Content Samurai and I absolutely love it. If you can see, I already have 34 custom templates and this is probably my second or third account because I've used it on and off for four years and it just keeps getting better and better. As an example, these are all the templates they have for content videos, but since they started, they were just purely a VSL tool. When they started, this was pretty much the only thing they offered. But now, they also allow you to use stock footage, they allow you to create presenter style videos where basically I'll demonstrate this in a second. And they even added vertical video templates recently. So they just keep adding more and more stuff, they keep improving the program. And that's one of the biggest things about Vidnami. If you're thinking about is it worth the price, their customer service is incredible, but also they keep improving the program. They've been doing it for four years and it's absolutely incredible to see that. Now, let's take a look at the presenter video first. I'll show you the entire process in the left-hand side of creating the video. And then we'll take a look at either an instant ad or a content video, probably a content video. So presenter video, what is this? This is the video I use a lot. And what this allows you to do is you first pick a template you can customize it if you want. You can change the colors, you can name it, background colors, fonts, how the font looks, etc. But I'm just going to use this default template right here. And what you can do is you can either record a video using your webcam or select a file to upload. So I'm gonna record a quick video using my webcam. It's not going to be perfect. Let's see, audio source, video source, there it is. There's my beautiful face right there. And it's a square video, so my webcam is shrunken. Usually my webcam is this big. So let me just record something. Three, two, one. Is Vidnami a good video creation tool? No, it's one of the best. I've created hundreds of videos with it and no other tool makes it this easy to create beautiful videos. The only problem is it can be quite expensive, but I do have good news. You can get a 25% discount using the link in the description below, but wait, there's more. Sometimes I have discounts of up to 40%. Then you stop recording, and then you can click use this recording after it uploads. You can also just select record it using your regular, whatever you want to use, Camtasia, Loom, and then upload it to here. That will allow you to edit your audio if you want because sometimes I do like to edit my audio using Audacity before uploading. But if you're just using this for social media, if you're trying to do this as quickly as possible, this is the easiest way to do it, right? You just record straight in Vidnami, takes you know about 30 seconds for it to prepare the file formats, to prepare everything. And then once that's done, it actually, you can transcribe it. So use this recording and I'm gonna transcribe it. This can take some time. This can take anywhere from 
five seconds to a minute. It depends, I believe, on how overloaded their server that they're using is. So I'm going to pause and continue when it's fully transcribed. Alrighty, so it is fully transcribed and it didn't get the first one because it doesn't know how to say Vidnami. So is, is Vidnami a good video creation tool? That requires some fixing. No, it's one of the best. I've created hundreds of videos that no other tool makes it this easy to create beautiful videos. Quite expensive. As you can see, it got everything right except for the Vidnami part. And that makes sense because they're using, I think, some other tool to transcribe it. And Vidnami is not a real word. It's a brand. So it's fine that it didn't get it. Once you go from here, you can create the scenes. It automatically creates the scenes based on the script. This process is the same for these videos or other types of videos. And then you can actually see yourself talking on each slide. The beauty of this, though, is if you want to add some stock images or if you want to add some videos, clips, they call them, you can just add that straight in here. So let's say I want to say hundreds of videos and I just want to do a bunch of some video stock footage. I can add this and boom, I've created hundreds of videos with it. you see a bunch of video stock footage. I can link this to the previous slide. So then you still see the same thing. And then it goes back to my face. I'll talk a little bit more about the editor here, but after this, the next step is the preview. Here's where you can actually see what the video looks like. Make sure that content, make sure that Vidnami, excuse me, I'm still saying content samurai because I'm so used to it being content samurai. They rebranded about I think eight months ago, but it's still content samurai in my heart. But this is where you can one select music. And they use the standard Storyblocks library, which has about 30,000 30, yeah, 30, songs. You can see some music provided by Storyblocks. Most of it is provided by Storyblocks. I think Content Samurai adds like 10,000 more songs. Excuse me, Vidnami adds 10,000 more songs. But you can select it by, let's say, Epic and Cinematic. And then you can preview it and it's going to be something. Definitely Epic, definitely Cinematic. Perfect. You can also upload your own music. I don't really do that much. I usually just use theirs because there's such a huge library. You can add watermarks. I have some previous existing watermarks. For example, this was for a law firm. I made some videos or you can make a draft watermark, which basically just makes sure that your video is protected before you send it to your clients. If you're a freelancer, then of course, adjust the voice track volume, the music volume and mainly just timing. Now, this is an option that I've I have to use sometimes because as you can see, Vidnami automatically synced the slides to my voice. So if I preview it, if I preview it, I'm not going to hear any sound. That's, that's strange. Uh, is that because I changed the, I changed the sound of the voice or is that because there's some issue with my speakers because I was able to hear the music? Interesting. All right, so I think there was just an issue with the preview because it wasn't playing the sound. Be a good video creation tool. No, it's as you can see, I'm going to take off the watermark. It's distracting me. But as you can see, it aligned the audio perfectly. I've created hundreds of videos with it and no other tool makes it. And it usually does it pretty well. But if you're not pronouncing things perfectly or if your script isn't 100 percent aligned with what you're saying, then it can have some issues and then that's where you go back in here and you either drag these around or you can just default click the record timing button the video will play and you can select the timing for the scene then let's click continue you can download it 720p or 8 1080p which 1080p is beautiful because well because it does allow you to make beautiful videos especially if you're using a lot of stock footage this is the best way to go now, what if you don't want to show your face? That's fine. You can create either a content video or pretty much a default VSL type video. Now they do have like property videos, course training, instant ads, but they're all pretty much, they're very, very similar to what, you know, a content video is. So for example, content video, let's do, let's do vertical for this one. And this time let's do, let's do yellow as the color. So you select the template, you can customize it if you want. I'm not going to do that. You press use, and then you can paste a script. In this case, it has my script from the voiceover, but I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to paste in the longer script that I created for this and then go into advanced options. Now there's a couple of options here that I 
usually have most of them turned on. So automatically click test to layout. This is this uses their AI, or you can just do one scene per sentence, paragraph, or phrase. I usually do automatic because it's the best, but per sentence can also work well if you're using very short sentences. Bold keywords for me, almost always have it on. Select video clips. This is only for, you know, videos for social media, select images, layouts, add motion, transitions, animate text, or link scenes. And then image usage options, I usually have, I usually have share like also turned on. I usually just keep public domain and attribution. But if you're using it for non-commercial purposes, you can turn this on and that will make your uh, image and video library bigger. But there's a ton of other images in the Storyblocks library anyway, so I don't see why you would need to do that. So you press the create scenes button and then it's going to create the scenes. It's going to divide them up. It's going to find videos for it. Oh, it's not going to do that because there is my source video in here because for some reason it is not, let's create a new video. That's why creating a new video with content video. Now let's do that. I don't want it to create videos with me. I want it to create videos with stock footage and stock images. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You just go, on the left hand side from top to bottom and you create a beautiful video. Now, obviously here, Vidnami, there's not really much, there's not really a lot of videos that you can create for Vidnami. So it's just going to be just more about video software. And you can find a clip, let's say like this, that would work somewhat better. Then here we have a woman looking sad. That would work. It's one of the best. This doesn't really work, but you could do something like, fireworks usually their video picker is actually quite good but since this is a very challenging text because it's just very abstract it's not doing as well when you're in here by the way you can preview the videos you can also see how long they are because the length of the videos uh, changes how quickly they loop so if you want to have a very long video right maybe you want to have this fireworks video playing for four or five scenes you will pick this one rather than this seven second one. Now for the editor, once you pick the video, you can move it around, right? Adjust the background, depending on what you want to focus on. You can change the text position. Now in this case, picking it right or left doesn't change it much, right? But if it's a full size video, it's going to move it around a lot. You can edit the text. You can make it bolded or unbolded. You can underline it if you want. You can italicize it, or you can also make all the text disappear or make all the media disappear, depending on what you are going for. You can also insert a random scene break. So if you decide that there's too much text on one slide, you can split those up into two slides, add images, of course, and change the style of the entire video. Once you go through it and you review every single slide, the next step is creating the voiceover. So you can either click here or just go to voice right here. Now there's a couple of options here. You can just do music only. You can do their robot voice, which I don't personally recommend. I hate robot voices, but you can use them. I believe Harvey, I think Harry and Jack are the best ones. Hi, my name is Harry and I would love to read the script for your video. So sit back, relax. It's not perfect. Hi, my name is Jack and I would love to read the script for your video. But if you slow it down, you can slow down the speed to about 90% in the preview mode. It does sound a little bit more natural, but I would still recommend hiring an artist on Fiverr if you don't want to talk or even just doing a no voice track video because the robot ones are just weird. They won't get demonetized on YouTube. Don't worry, but they're just, I don't like them. You can also record your own voice track in Vidnami or upload it. I highly recommend uploading it recording with audacity and editing it and uploading because it's going to make your sound sound a lot better because as you can see right now i'm just recording it straight and the sound may not sound as good but if i remove some of the clicks if i make it sound a little bit more resonant that's going to sound a lot better to the audience and to the ear but if you're going for speed then you can record it straight in here so you just press record is vidnami a good video creation tool you can press the space bar to go to next and just press spacebar over and over. No. And then just keep doing that until you're done. It's one of the best. Oh, there was a problem because I pressed space way too fast. 
I've created hundreds of videos with it and no other tool makes it this easy to create beautiful videos. So I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm going to finish that. I don't need to record the entire thing, but then you basically go to the preview and that's where it syncs everything. Uh, sometimes you don't have recorded audio yet. So let me actually just do auto voice. Let me just use Harvey and then do the preview so I can show you what that looks like. But that's pretty much it for how Vidnami works. So you can see it's very simple and straightforward, but also incredibly powerful and the videos that it does create for you with their AI, the AI that automatically separates the, sli the text into slides, picks the videos and images for the slides, it's incredible. All right, so as you can see right here, you can change the voice track speed. By default, it's at 100. You can set it to 90 or 95 or 92, play around with it if you really wanna use the robot voice. I don't recommend it. I'm not gonna change anything here because I hate how it sounds either way. But is Vidnami a good video creation tool? No, it's as you can see, I don't really have to sync anything here because the auto voice just talks about it as each slide happens. The next step, once, of course, is to download. And that is it. Now, let's talk about something else. For a lot of people, when you're thinking about, you know, a video creation tool, the question is, what am I going to be using this for? And there's two key ways I recommend of using Vidnami. Number one is going to be just general sales videos. I use Vidnami for a lot of more beautiful VSLs, which in this case, they're usually content videos. I create VSLs for a lot of my clients using stock footage. So then they have a lot of, you know, they like how it looks, it's beautiful, but they also have the text on screen. So for example, for Facebook or Instagram, they autoplay videos but the videos autoplay without sound. So you need to have some sort of text on screen for people to actually read. Uh, but presenter videos are huge. You've probably seen these style of videos, uh, specifically, let's say these styles of videos on Instagram, right? Bottom, top, all the influencers are using them. And they used to be called influencer videos, I believe, but they've changed to presenter videos. But either way, there's a reason they're using that. They work. They're building a relationship with your audience. They're very quick and easy to make because you can literally just turn on your webcam on your laptop and talk. Or if you want, you can use your phone and do a selfie style of video and then just upload it to Vidnami and you're done. But they're so fast and easy to create. And of course, the content videos with the stock footage, it looks beautiful. Now, I do recommend if you're someone who's creating a lot of VSLs, right? Sales video stuff. I recommend getting Easy VSL also. I'll put a link in the description to that because Easy VSL allows you to also create VSL videos very, very quickly. And I prefer using Easy VSL for super quick VSL video sales that are testing and then creating a content video with Vidnami right here because Vidnami video do take a little bit more work because you do have to make sure that it's picked the right video for each, for each slide. You have to make sure that the slides are aligned perfectly, right? Because sometimes, for example, it might break up the slides in a way that's not perfect, right? Just having well on one slide is probably not the best idea. I would probably merge these two slides and have well. That means you're going to have to wait three or four months, right? I wouldn't break it up there because then the breakup is kind of happening in mid-sentence. Have to wait three or four months. I'd break it up right there until, it's avail until there's a discount available. So I usually go through and change the videos and the the way the text is broken up either way. So then Vidnami does take me a little bit longer, but that's also because I'm a perfectionist. I don't do that for presenter videos and I don't really do that for sales videos, but only for the content videos where I know that my clients want it to be as perfect as possible. And I do want to make sure that every video is perfect. Now the pricing, I'm going to go to the pricing page really quickly. So let me show you how it looks like. All right, so we're on their pricing page. And as you can see, this is their current pricing, $47 per month or $397 per year. Now the per year is a 30% off discount compared to this, but there's also 25% monthly discount that you can get if you click on the link in the description below. And of course, there's also the potential for a 40% discount that happens once every 
basically every time they add a super big feature to the program, they run a discount. Sometimes it's 25, sometimes it's 30%, sometimes it's 35, sometimes it's 40. Sometimes it's even an annual discount. So it becomes 347 or 347 instead of 397. But the 25% discount on this makes it, I think, 30 something, 34 or 37. It depends. So then even then that pricing makes a lot of sense. Even if we create one video per month, the amount of time you spent on it without Vidnami would be probably, I don't know, three, four, five, six hours, probably even longer if you're not a video creation expert. Whereas Vidnami, you can make that same beautiful video in, in under an hour. I can usually knock them out in about 10 to 30 minutes, depending on the type of video and the length. Sometimes it takes an hour or two if it's a very long video or if it's, you know, I have to do the voiceover, I have to do the rest, but I can knock them out super quickly. So if your time is worth even $20 an hour, which if, if you're a business owner or your marketer, that should probably, it should probably be worth more than that, right? It's probably at least 50, maybe even a hundred. This is nothing compared to how much time you're going to save. Now, going back to the actual tool, there are some things that I wish were a little bit better. Sometimes the script maker does glitch a little bit. Sometimes it does break things up, let's say in the wrong spot, or sometimes the scene editor glitches, but it's very, very rare. And it's, it's so insignificant that I don't really pay attention to it. Like it happens maybe once every, I don't know, every 20 or 15 hours that I create videos with Renami, which to me is fine. Everything's going to have bugs. If you're using Windows, that's going to have bugs. If you're using Apple, that's going to have bugs or it's just, it's just going to have problems either way. So that's it for the review. If you are looking for a discount, click the link in the description. If you want to check out easy VSL or read the Vidnami text review on our website, then also the links are in the description. Otherwise, if you're looking to create videos, you have any questions about the discount, about Vidnami, about video creation, please leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.